For the first time this season, the sun was out in full force and so were the Zanesville Bats. With temperatures reaching the mid-60s, the Blue Devils are starting to heat up on the field. Let's head out to Jay Payton Field where Zanesville was playing host to Fairfield Union. Zanesville up 9-4 after the second inning. Top fifth Brandon Pritchard flashes his leather on a grounder in the hole to keep the Falcons at bay. Move to the bottom of the fifth. The Blue Devils get their bats going again. Braxton Snyder lays down this beautiful bunt to load the bases with no outs. Two batters later, ZHS is going to run the squeeze to perfection. Check this out. Perfect bunt. Jared Ball with it. And then Josh Clark comes home to make it 10 to 4. Ball trips over the first baseman, but he would be fine on the play. Zach Palmer keeps the offense going with a two RBI single up the middle, scoring Snyder and Caden Muma. Zach Rudder also knocked in a run, so Zanesville is just one run away from ending the game. Heath Cooper comes up with the bases juiced. He hits a grounder to short and beats the throw to inflict the mercy rule. Zanesville wins 14-4 in five innings, weather permitting they'll host Newark tomorrow night. Rosecrans Bishops are opening up their season against 2-0 Coshocton at Gantt Stadium today. Top third, two outs, Coshocton's Hunter Haas ropes a line drive to left field for a double. Next batter up is Taylon Babcock. He was a hero against Maysville last night with the game-winning RBI, and he gets the job done again with a single up the middle. Haas comes home to the score, and it's 3-1 skins. Move to the top of the fourth. Coshocton at it again. Gavin Gray takes off, and he's going to steal second base with ease. With Gray in scoring position, Joe Batchelor is going to hit a soft grounder up the middle. The throw the first is actually going to get away here, so Gray comes home to score on the air. Kashakton in front, 4-1. to one. Time for the Bishops to make a play. Second baseman C.J. Williams is going to snag the line drive and steps on second base to complete the double play, but the Skins go on to get the win 10-5 and improve the 3-0 on the air.